اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ جزاک اللہ ٹو ایوری ون ہو از ارائیوڈ ام ٹو دی کلاس ٹو ڈے اون ٹائم جزاک اللہ فور بیئرنگ وتھ اس واسٹ وی جسٹ ور ان دی پروسس اف سیٹنگ اپ سم بریک اپ رومز ایز یو کین سی اور ایجنڈا فور ٹو ڈے از ا اور یوزول اوپننگ دعا این اسمبلی اینڈ دین ویل ری کیپ اون دی رولز اف دی ویک فور ا فیو منٹس And then at 10 past six, inshallah, we'll um, open up the breakout rooms and uh, some of you, uh, quite a lot of you, inshallah, will have a, a pop-up on your screen, which will say uh, you are being asked to join breakout room. Please um, accept that invitation and then uh, you will be listened to uh, by uh, one of our, our staff during, uh, during the class. If there's any, any issue when you're in the breakout room and you need to leave for some reason, please do ask the staff member for permission. But if for any reason, maybe your mic doesn't work and you do have to leave, you may find that you have to leave the meeting and then rejoin the whole class and you'll end up in the main session that way. Okay, and then at 10 to 7, you'll come back to the main session and we'll recap on the letters of the week. before we'll finish uh, with our, um, our closing procedure of homework and dua. Okay, so if I can, um, is the support um, uh, staff in the classroom today? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. If I can have a student to the mic? Yes. G2166. G2166 Assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum How are you Antiko Alhamdulillah Um okay sweetheart so we are going to do Friday's dua so if you repeat with me okay that would and that's me first properly and with melody A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Rabbana Rabbana taqabbal minna taqabbal minna innaka innaka antasami antasami ul alim ul alim mashallah okay and then the english translation after us darling our lord accept from us for you are all hearing all knowing al bakara 128 mashallah well done and do you know what al bakara is no okay so in the grammar deed um we have 114 chapters and those chapters are known by their number are uh, varying from 1 all the way up to 114 and they also have names and al bakara is one of those chapters inside each chapter there are verses and those verses have numbers if you go to al bakara in the grammar jeet and you go to verse number 128 you will find this dua there okay so maybe you could um look at it with your mum later on you could look it up okay so had jazakumullah for coming to the mic inshallah we'll listen to you again um allah hafiz for now Okay. Love it. Love it. Okay, so let's now move on to our revision of the week. Okay? So, we just got to remind you of the rules we covered earlier on this week. In class 6, which was on Monday, we did nonation, which was clear, and we did nonation for when you have clear pronunciation. And we pointed out to you that when you have a tanwi, tanwin, and a tanwin is one of these strokes here okay fatha two times kasra two, two times dhamma two times known as fatha tain kasra tain dhamma tain collectively they're known as tanween if you see 
a tanvin, you will know that a tanvin makes a nasal sound. The sort of nasal sound you make depends on what is coming up next. The next letter decides what nasal sound to make. So when you see a tanvin, you look at the next letter. If it's a letter of the throat, and if I could remind you, here in the grid in red are the letters of the throat that we asked you to memorize last weekend. If after the tanvin you see a letter of the throat, then you make a clear noon sound. You do not prolong the sound. So in this example here, there is a tanvin here. Straight afterwards is a letter, which is a letter of the throat. So we do not do a prolonged nasal sound on this me. How we read it is salamun here. Salamun here. A very clear noon sound. Okay, and that's what we did on Monday. On Tuesday, class seven, we did quiescent, sukun. And in it, we pointed at you that when a letter carries a stroke, okay, when a letter carries a stroke, it's known as a vowel letter, which is an English way of saying it, a vowel letter. Here is an example of a vowel letter, an alif with a fatha. We then pointed out to you that a sakin letter is a letter that carries a sukun. Here is an example. It's a lam with a sukun on top. This is known as a sakin lam. When you see a sakin letter, you will know that the sukun is going to cause joining. And that sakin letter has to join to the most recent vowel letter. So if you were to see this example here, a lam sakin, you would have to work backwards until you found a vowel letter, which in this case happens to be right next to it. And then you would join. The lam and the alif would join together. When you join, you have to make sure that you sound both the vowel letter and the sakin letter. You must make both sounds. So in the example with the alif and the lam, you'd say al, al. The alif and the lam have to be sounded. In this example here with the ha and the meme, you'd say ham, ham. The ha and the meme have to be sounded. You mustn't spend too long on the sakin letter, but you mustn't rush through it either. So, for example, you mustn't say al or ham. It's al ham. So, this word here would be written as read out as al ham do. Alhamdu. Okay, moving on. In class eight, we did Nun Sakin. When you see Nun Sakin, how to pronounce it when you see that. Okay, so we pointed out that a Nun Sakin is a Nun that carries a Sukun. Here is an example a Nun with a Sukun on the top. When you see a noon sakin, you will know that you have to make a nasal sound. The sound that you make depends on what's coming up next. The next letter decides what nasal sound to make. When you see a, a noon sakin, you look at the next letter. If it happens to be a letter of the throat, and the grid is here for you in red, then you make a clear noon sound. You do not prolong the sound. So here, we have a noon sakin. So we know there's a nasal, nasal sound to make, but we know that the next letter is going to decide. So we look at the next letter. It happens to be a letter of the throat. In that case, we make a clear noon sound. We do not prolong it. So this would be read as in there, in there. Okay, so that's what we did on Wednesday. Yesterday, we did combining, when you have to combine words. And what we said was, um, we reminded you of some terms. So looking at the boxes, we reminded you that a sakin letter is a, a letter that carries the sukun. A muttaharik letter, we introduced a new term. A muttaharik letter is a letter that carries a stroke. And we pointed out to you that muttaharik is the Arabic way of saying vowed. If you hear a teacher say muttaharik letter, it means exactly the same as vowed letter. 
So you just need to get used to those terms. We reminded you that a Sakin letter joins to the most recent Muttaharik letter. So when you see a Sakin letter, you work backwards until you find a Muttaharik letter. And then you join those two and you ignore any others in between. And if I could point out to you in this example that's here, we see a Sakin Lam here. And so we work backwards. We find an Alif, but that's not Muttaharik. We work backwards. That's not Muttaharik. We work backwards again. That also is not Muttaharik. We work backwards, we find this Ghain with a Zama. That is a Muttaharik letter. So it's those two letters that will join. And we ignore all the letters in between. This would be read as Ghul, Ghul, Yablu, Yablu, Ghul, Huluma. Okay? And those are the rules that we taught during the week. And we practice on those in our text. And you have been practicing for homework, uh, chapter Naziat. And today, when you go to the breakout rooms, you will read to the teachers and uh, they will um, give you some feedback on that. OK, so if I can now go to the main teacher and ask her to share her screen and we can open the breakout rooms. Assalamu alaikum, yes. Remember to share your screen first. Okay, I'll open all the rooms now. And I would like to request all the students to please uh, click on join when you receive the notification on your screen. Jazakumullah. Okay, so the breakout rooms are now done and we are going to proceed with our class as usual here in the main room. Okay, so all of the rules, uh, the teacher has already gone through them. So we are going to practice Surah and Naziat now. Okay. Okay, so let's have a student on the mic. G2201, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum, Assalamu Rahmatullah. Okay, so you can start with Tawuz. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahirrahman ar-rahim Yes? Vannari ati gharka Okay, very good. So I'm just going to point out a few things, okay? First of all, this letter here, what is this letter? Do you know the name? Za. Very good. But I think you incorrectly pronounced it as Ra. Yeah. So you, so you can have a go again. Very good, much better. Okay, so the second thing is this cough. Okay, yeah. it's it's a thick cough, right? We have two coughs, a, a calf, thin one, and a cough, thick one. So yeah. let's try to make a thick sound for this one. And remember, oh. excellent. And remember, so let me just get rid of these. Remember to prolong the vertical fatha. Okay, it's the long vowel of fatha. For two seconds. Yeah. Okay. One. Try. 
Much better. Let's continue with the next verse. Vanna shito ti nashto. Okay, very good. So, if you can just repeat after me once. Vanna shito ti nashto. Vanna shito ti nashko to. Excellent. So, this letter to, it is also one of the seven thick letters. So, we have to make a thick sound for this. Okay? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next verse. Vasabi hati sabha. Excellent. Okay? Just remember to differentiate between the sound of big ha and small ha. Okay, remember we have two types of ha as well. Let me show, show everyone an example. So here, this one, it comes from the bottom of the throat. Okay, and this one comes from middle of the throat. So let's try. Excellent. Okay. Next verse. Asabi to ti sabato. Okay, this letter, what is this letter? Tako. Tof, right? Oh. Yeah, the same as the one we saw in the first verse. Okay. Fasabi ko ti sabako. Okay, let's break this down. Okay, you try first. Next verse. Falm. Excellent. That was perfect. So, Jazakallah, G2201. Jazakallah. Now we are going to have our next student. Okay. So, let's have G2215, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm fine too. Jazakallah for asking. So we'll continue. Okay. From here, let's start with Auzubillah. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Thank you. Let's start from here. Verse 6. Fal mutta amra Okay, very good. Almost right. Fal mutta birati amra Remember to prolong at the end for two seconds. Um, Very good. Next one. Okay. So, um, because we are pausing here, Okay, it is a sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Therefore, we are going to apply the rule. You haven't learned it. Okay, so it's okay. But the proper way to stop would be Tarjufurajifah. Tarjufurajifah. Okay, very good. So basically, this is going to change into Ha. 
sakin. The second thing, on top of ra, we have the shdeed, right? So let's try to make a double sound on that, okay? Let's stress on it. Okay, much better. And uh, in one of the previous lessons, if you remember, you learned about um, combining two words, right? And if there are blank letters, we drop it. Can you see the blank letters here? G. Okay, can you point them out? Um, is it the Aleph and the, the two Alephs? Okay, so you're right, but it's not two Alephs. It's one Aleph and one Lam. Oh. Okay, all right. And there's also an example of Aleph Mad. Can you see uh, that? So do you remember the rule of alif mad? So just to remind all the students, we have three mad letters, right? Alif, vow, and ya. Okay, and when we see them, we have to prolong for two seconds. So where is that alif? Um, is it the second one? That's right, this one. And that is why we prolonged here for two seconds. Okay, let's move on to the next verse. That okay well done you paused correctly okay but here uh, remember what we were just talking about combining okay so here we have to combine the ha okay ha with the fatha stroke straight to the raw mushadad so this is going to be that but okay try that very good, much better. That um, Yes. That that bahuharadefa. Very good, that's right. So here we have a lift mud as well. So that's why we prolonged here for two seconds as well. Okay, M let's move on to next verse. Okay, let's try that again. Try. Okay, much better. So remember, first we have a vowel here, so that's why we were prolonging for two seconds. And we have a thick cough at the start. Then here we have to join the tanween with the ya mushadad. Okay? And we have to make a slight nasal sound. is. Try. is. Excellent. Okay, and then we have an aliftment. That's why we prolong for two seconds here. Okay, and that's about it. Okay. Jazakla G2215. Jazakla. Okay, now we are going to have the next student. G2176. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Okay, so let's start with the others. A'udhu billahi minashaytunirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Absuruha khoshi'ah Okay, very good. So in this 
um, verse, we have two examples of Alif Mad. Can you see them? Yes. Abso, Ruha, and Ha. Excellent. So there are three examples of Alif Mad. Okay. And you prolonged it for two seconds nicely on each of them. So that's good. Let's move on to the next verse. Okay, very good. So, in the very first word, we have examples of Valmad. Okay, that's why you prolonged her for two seconds. Okay. Then we have an Alif Mad. So, let's try to prolong this for two seconds as well. Uh, in na. Okay, so what we have to do, because there's a tashdeed on noon, we have to hold the nasal sound for two seconds. Okay? Okay. In na. In na. Okay, much better. Then again, we have some examples of Walmart. Okay, and then at the end, another alif. Okay, let's move on to the next verse. Wa iza kunna iza tumunna nakhiru. Okay, very good. Let's try once with me. Wa iza kunna wa very good, much better. Okay, next verse. Excellent. So here, one of the lessons we learned in the week was Izhar of Noon Sakin or Tanmeen. Okay, this is a Tanmeen of Noon, Dhammaten. Okay, and we have to do Izhar, we have to do manifest the sound of Noon clearly. Okay. Excellent. Jazakallah, G2176. Oh, no, no. I'm sharing an idea with my brother for some reason. Not sure why. I can ask two things. Uh, can I just check? If we can both get an idea and uh, your brother would like a turn. Uh, Aslam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Malia Saiba, can you, are you the host? Wa alaikum aslam, yes. Uh, can you uh, make me host this time? Yes. Hafsa, I can't see your um, ID. Co-host me, you know, Talim al-Quran, the second Talim al-Quran. Okay. Yes, Hafsa, you are a co-host. Uh, no, not co-host, full host. Host, okay. Yeah, you made that. Yes, now you will need to make me co host. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, you are co host now. It's okay? Yes, Jazakallah. Very nice. Okay. Uh, G2176. G2176, are you there? Okay, so let's have our next student, G2133. Assalamu alaikum. 
वालेकुम अस्सलाम आप कैसी सी हैं अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आई एम फाइन जजाकल्लाह फॉर आस्किंग सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द प्रैक्टिस स्टार्टिंग विद तावुज यस जी टू वन थ्री थ्री जी ओके वेरी गुड बट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आउजुबिल्ला मुझे मिस्टेक पता चल गई अपनी मैंने अलिफ मद को किया ही नहीं था Yes, that's right. So, do you want to have a go again? Ji fa inna ma hiya zajra tu wa hida. Okay, very good. So, the first word on top of noon. Let's stress. We have to hold the nasal sound for two seconds. Fa inna ma fa in. बिग वन सो लेट्स डिफ्रेंशियट इन दर साउंड दिस वन कम्स फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ द स्ट्रोट <laughs> this one comes from the middle of the throat okay fa in okay hear me out first okay fa in na ma hi ya fa in na ma hi hi ya ya zajra tu wa hi da okay very good वेरी गुड ओके लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट वर्स एक्सलेंट So in this verse we have two examples of alif mad. Can you point them out? G A K Z Z Z Al ke baad aur dusra wala hai C M ke baad. Excellent. That's right. Okay. And when we have a mad letter, what do we do? Usko two seconds se elongate karna hota hai. That's right. Okay, let's continue with the next verse. Har hal ata ka hadi sumu sa. Very good, excellent. So here we have the vertical fatha. Okay, where we have to prolong for two seconds, and then we have a. What is this? Yeah, yamad. Excellent. So we prolonged here for two seconds as well. Okay, Jazakallah. G two one three three. Oh, wait. Or one sec. One second. 
नो मैं नॉर्मली ब्रेक आउट रूम के लिए जाती हूँ फ्राइडेज पे लेकिन आज मुझे इन्विटेशन नहीं मिला था ओके वील इनशाला हैव अ लुक एट इट आफ्टर द क्लास जाकला ओके लेट्स हैव आवर नेक्स्ट स्टूडेंट लुक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ द verse we have an example of alif math and vertical fatha let's prolong each of these for 2 seconds is na da hu is na ta hu rabbu hu rabbu hu okay so why did we prolong here for 2 seconds Do you know? Look no. at the. Okay. Look at the stroke. Look at the vowel on top of the letter. Do you know the stroke? Yeah, but I don't know the name of it. Okay, that's fine. So this is a long vowel. Okay, long vowel of dhamma. It's called inverted dhamma. Okay. So we have to prolong this for two seconds. Okay, let's continue. Very good. So here we have a an example of alif mat. Okay, and then we also have an example of blank alif, which we dropped out of the pronunciation. Okay, and we joined the dal with the kasra straight to lam sakin. Okay, and at the end we are going to pause um, because we are going to pause here. Okay, as I mentioned, it's a, it's the Sunnah of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the correct way to pause would be to prolong this vowel for two seconds. Tuwa, tuwa. Very good. Okay, let's continue with the next verse. Is hab ila fir ona ibahu innahu. Taza. Okay. What is this letter? Rain. Rain. That's right. So can you say this again? Inna huta ra. Excellent. And again, we have an example of inverted dhamma. So what do you have to do here? Prolong for two seconds. Very good. And because we have a tashdeed on top of noon, okay. Let's. Make a double sound and hold the nasal sound for two seconds as well. Innahu, innahu. Very good. Okay, let's continue with the next verse. Taqul halaka ila an tazia. Okay. Um. Do Do you want to try again? Fakul hal halaka ila an tazaka zaka. Excellent. So just two things. Remember to prolong this for more than two seconds. Okay. The minimum for this is three seconds. It will be covered in future lessons, inshallah. But let's just uh, practice. Ila. Ila, oh, tazak 
Tazaka. Oh, Tazaka. Very good. Jazakillah, G2137. Okay, let's have our next student. Okay. G2137. Again. Okay. You have already you already had a go? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try a different student. G2172. Assalamu alaikum. G2172. If you could unmute yourself. Okay, your hand is raised, but do you Assalamualaikum. Okay. Um Assalamualaikum. Malikum Miss. Um, my Who is this? Which I D two seven seven two one seven six. Uh Miss, I think you might have unmuted us on accident. Okay, since you're on the mic, uh, you can, let's have you. Okay. Let's start with Tavuz. A'uzu billahi minas shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahman ar-rahim. Okay. Let's start from here. Can you see? Yes. وَأَهْدِيَكَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ فَتَّخْشَىٰ Very good. Almost right. Just remember to prolong here for a good two seconds. Okay. إِلَىٰ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ فَتَّخْشَىٰ Excellent. Next one. <clears throat> Very good. So a few things to um, keep in mind. First of all, the uh, raw, remember to prolong it for two seconds. Okay, so what you are stressing on the raw, okay, there is no tashdeed. So let's read it. Let's try again. Okay, don't join the alif with the raw. Much better. Secondly, we we learned about combining, right? And we learned that when we have blank alis, okay, we drop them and we don't um, pronounce them in recitation. So let's do that. Very good. Then we have a blank alif again. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to next verse. Okay, very good. Don't prolong the ba for more than one second. Very good. Okay, 
Wa aso. Wa aso. Excellent. Remember, sod is one of the seven thick letters. Okay. So we have to make a thick sound for this as well. And remember to differentiate the sound of ayn from alif and hamza. Okay, let's continue with the next verse. Excellent. Okay, so whenever we have a tashdeed on top of meme or noon, we have to prolong it for two seconds, obviously. But we have to hold the nasal sound as well. Sum. Sum. Adbara. Adbara. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay, next verse. Fahashara fan. Excellent. So here we have an example of Alif Mad. Can you point it out? Um, um, Excellent. And then it's followed by a vertical Fatha. So we have to prolong each of these for two seconds. Fanada. Excellent. Okay. And remember to differentiate between the sound of the letter ha and letter ha as well. Okay. So this is the small ha and this is the big ha coming from middle of the throat. Fahasharo. Fahasharo. Okay. Much better. Jazakla G2176. Thank okay. So let's have our next student. G2142, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalamu Rahmatullah. Let's start with Auzu Billah. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Fakala fakala ana rab 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 mul Allah. Okay, so let's try this again. First of all, in the very first word, we have an example of Alif Mad. Okay, so we have to prolong that for two seconds. Okay, and remember to make a thick sound for this qaf as well. Faqala. Faqala. Excellent. Then at the end, in the last word, we have the letter Ain which you missed out of the pronunciation. So can you try that word again? Ala. Okay. La. Okay. Very good. You're prolonging it for two seconds, which is right. But join the alif with the fatha to the ayn sakin. How would you do that? Ala. Okay. So it is going to be a. Okay. Alif and ayn sakin. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, la. Try. Uh, la. Okay. Much better. Rabbukum al a'la. Rabbuka. Rabbukum al a'la. Okay. That's fine. Inshallah, with practice, it will get much better. Now, here comes. An important thing, okay? It was pointed out by the uh, the other teachers as well. So this one is not an alif mad, okay? So just like all the other rules, the rule of alif mad also has an exception, and this word is an exception to that rule, okay? Which means we are not going to prolong it for two seconds, okay? We are going to pronounce it as an one second each. Try. Anna. Very good. 
فقال أنا فقال أنا Very good. Okay, let's continue with the next verse. Okay, very good. It's a long verse, okay, but you recited it really well. A few things here and there. First of all, in the very first word on top of Alif, you prolonged um, the small stroke of Atta for more than one second. Would you like to try again? Yeah. Very good. Then we learned about combining. Okay, so we are going to yeah. drop the salif out of the pronunciation and join the ha with the dhamma stroke straight to this lam mushaddad. Okay. So we are dropping out the blank alif and the blank lam. فَأَخَذَهُ اللَّهُ فَأَخَذَهُ اللَّهُ Okay, make the lamb a bit thicker. فَأَخَذَهُ اللَّهُ فَأَخَذَهُ اللَّهُ Excellent. Then we have a alif month. Okay, and yeah. a vertical fatah here, which we prolonged for two seconds. Okay. Then we also have blank alifs, okay, here and here, which we dropped out of the pronunciation. Okay. Okay. But in the last word, we have an example of Mahmud. Okay. And the correct way to pronounce this would be Wal Ula. Wal Ula. Very good. Much better. <clears throat> Okay. Jazakallah, G2176. Jazakallah. Okay. Let's have one more student. G2115. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullah. Okay, let's start with Tawuz and Tasmiya. Auzu Billahi Mina Shayta Narajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim Faakhaza. Okay, wait, wait. Um, G2115. Let's yeah. start from here. Okay. Inna fi zalika la ibrata li man yakhsha Antum ashaddu khalqan amas sama Bana Bana ha Excellent, okay, so now, let me just give you the feedback on these two verses. Okay, so first of all, you recited really well. Okay, uh, but there are a few things which we need to keep in mind. Okay, first of all, on top of noon, we have tashtid. So we have to hold the nasal sound for two seconds. Okay, and then this is ya madda. Okay, so we have to prolong okay. this for two seconds as well. Inna fi. In very good okay and then here at the end we have to prolong nicely for a good two seconds because of the vertical fatha yaksha yaksha okay and can you try this for me again la ibrata liman yaksha okay make sure there is no sound of noon here La ibrata li mayyaksha. La ibrata li mayyaksha. Excellent. There will be there will be a slight nasal sound here, but no nasal sound here. Okay. Then you change the stroke here in this word. 
okay just be careful mindful of all the strokes okay look at each word and each stroke carefully so can you try this verse again uh uh um tum ashadu khalqan amsama banaha okay very good just remember to prolong the vertical fatha for 2 seconds as well just like you prolonged it prolonged this at the end bana bana very good and here the correct way to pronounce this word would be uh, okay that one you pronounced it correctly the first word uh, antum antum much better excellent jazakallah g2115 jazakallah okay so now i will hand over I'll hand it over to our che- uh, teacher assalamu alaikum uh, mt111 assalamu alaikum sorry can you hear me now yes okay uh jazakumullah okay um may i just start by saying uh apologies to those students who were in breakout rooms without a main teacher uh we are trying very hard to try and listen to as many students as we possibly can um and we've tried a new system today um and it's been successful uh in some places and we've not been so lucky in other places inshallah please pray that next week um everything goes smoothly um Okay and all students who were not listened to today in the breakout rooms we will try very hard to prioritize you next week. Okay so um let me just have a very very quick uh, recap of the letters that we did this week. We did dal and we pointed out to you the important thing um of noticing that it always joins this way okay a letter that joins into it always joins into it from the bottom and goes up okay from the bottom and goes up and that's quite an important thing for you to notice because it will help you to recognize um how to separate that from another letter that you can confuse it with we also covered jeen and ba to okay and please pay attention to what's written in the blue circle here how to pronounce it okay this is one of those letters which does require a little bit of practice round your mouth as you say to we also need a off okay and again you need to pay attention to what's in the blue circle so that you can make the pronunciation properly okay we also have made a grid and these five letters um we would like you over the weekend to pronounce those properly use what we will post on the pdf uh, for the homework and memorize these letters uh we will be using um your memory of these letters for a rule that we will introduce next week okay so let me go to the homework uh tonight tomorrow and sunday uh you are to practice the chapter that we've covered this week and the verses are 1 to 18 tonight 19 to 33 34 to 47 uh motto is learn and practice you've learned the rules in g1 and now you're in the process of practicing uh and you can never practice enough it's a lifelong journey with a grant make sure that you pay attention to all the rules that we've covered noon sakin and tanveen always look at the next letter if it's followed by a throat letter no prolonged nasal sound just very clear all sakin letters have to join and when you join them make sure you sound both the vowed letter and the sakin letter look out for the blank letters between muttaharik and sakin letters When you read apply all the rules you know even if you haven't covered them okay Look at the letters that we've covered this week and memorize those over the weekend Okay and for your uh uh convenience we will post this material on the breakout room uh, on the um parents whatsapp group Okay so we are running over um and so I will read the dua and if everyone can follow at home um uh, inshallah we will meet again on monday jazakumullah allahumma arhamni bil qur'an al azim oh allah have mercy on me through the quran the great 
Jazakumullah for your attendance. Inshallah, you did learn something today. For now, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.